I always find arriving into a van, I have a flashback of all the people that I've met and many of the experiences that are sort of triggered by seeing certain buildings and of course the Malacan. It's a bit I actually like seeing a film when I arrive back. I feel like I, I am in a film just sort of retracing my, my memories of so many of the musicians that I've I've worked with and I always wonder especially now you know what's going to unfold on this trip because every visit always has a has a particular personality to it and um, you know the cast of characters that come into play always shape shape the journey Larry and I have been coming to Cuba for many years now, often focusing on Havana, recording and organizing our projects. But this will be our first real journey in traveling across the country in the various provinces of Cuba. Tata Wienes, he's a surreal character, Tata Wienes, an absolute brilliant musician and beautiful percussionist. He's taught so many musicians that have gone on to have great careers. <laughs> So much of the time you think he's just sort of horsing around and, and being silly and being a character, but there's, there's a whole sophistication there and something very special. Okay. Okay. 
。上厕所的是吗？上厕所。Our first trip to Cuba was in 1982, and it came about from、um, getting sick every time I went to Mexico. And we just saw, you know, a vacation that was at a very affordable price, Canadian price, cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> And it was just a、uh, mind-boggling. We had no idea that there was so much music here. As we continued to sort of travel a little bit, we just kept finding out that there was like a, it was like a huge river with all these tributaries. There was so many, so much variation in, in the music, not only with the Afro, with the Europeans, and it was just a wow! Like this music sounds so old, but at the same time, it's so hip, it's so rhythmic, it's like funky. It's I, I just hadn't heard anything like that before, so it was just you know overwhelming. <laughs> It's always a beautiful feeling being in the studio, thinking back on the projects that we've done. First, being with Mercedes Valdez, Spirits of Havana, later Chamalongo with Mercedes, Havana Flute Summit, and this is quite different. This is all these musicians that we've we've gathered, that we've known through the years. So many of these musicians are the tops in their field and at the top of their form. Both Larry and I have found that so many of the Cuban musicians that we've worked with are so generous with their time and their knowledge and passing down the history of the music. Yeah, yeah, claro, sí. Mira, no me me ojos en diferente lugar. But you do, took the time in this rehearsal? No, I don't know. Did Todd? No, the thing is, it's about、uh, 20 minutes. Oh, really? Really? That was 20 minutes? May, maybe, maybe less, but.、Uh, okay, well, let's do it. Let Amado cue it. Do you think it's better to be short? Yes. I mean, I'd like it to be maybe eight or nine minutes. Because it's very rare. You know? Yeah. Very rare. And then people. Yeah. And people. Very rare. No, but people sometimes. <laughs> This is a Cuban rehearsal. Story of my life. I'll never forget. Actually, 
coming and rehearsing with Don Poland here in 1990 for the Jazz Festival, and he couldn't believe the rehearsal. We would we would rehearse, and uh, and this was with Bobby Carcasses, and all of a sudden everybody would just like run out of the room. Somebody would go home to get a glass of water. Someone would go out to see their girlfriend. Someone would go out and fix their car, and they'd be gone for like an hour and a half, and then uh, then they come back and we rehearse another piece. And then uh, and at the end of the piece, everyone took off again. This was sort of the, the process. It was sort of an all-day thing. Totally different than how we're sort of used to doing things. It was, it was a very funny experience to see Don pull and go, What's going on, Jane? Silencio, por favor. Hey! 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 Fuck! Silencio! Ron con Ron! Toma una!
que es sabroso que yo lo mismo toco con una orquesta típica, que toco con un yaguán, que toco rumba, que toco con que toco todo. Ya eso viene conmigo, desde que yo nací, desde el vientre de mi madre. ¿Quiénes fueron sus maestros? No, yo no tuve nunca jamás ¿no? Porque cuando la época mía, es como la, el maestro Chavalón. Los maestros eran la esquina, las cuatro esquinas. La calle, donde pasan los automóviles y pasa todo. Tenía que aprender en la calle. No, escuela, porque cuando esa época que, que negro íbamos a escuela. Santiago, Santiago es mejor. Sí, sí, Toronto, Toronto, Blue Jays, Orioles. Toronto se llama equipo Toronto más salado. La banda de Toronto, la banda de Toronto. Toronto, Toronto que es el tercer lugar de su liga. Ellos están en la liga de los Ahí, que mira, no, 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 Ahora lo que no es la facilidad de que todo el mundo la vea, sí, pero sí se ve, hay lugares que entra, ya, la no señal y sí se ve. Porque nosotros este año vimos la serie mundial completa. La vimos, la vimos. El Yankee Atlanta. Yankee. La vimos la serie ah, It's always great to come back to some of the conservatories that we've worked in, especially Amadeo Rodin, because of its history here in Havana. 
of so, so many great musicians coming through its doors. So today everybody's here. Yeah. It's a Grandi's surprise. Big surprise. <laughs> you know, we saw that, that a lot of the conservatories, the instruments were, were just horrendous. Um, and um, that no matter how bad things were, that, the, that a lot of the students were, you know, persisting in trying to play these dreadful instruments. There's 25 conservatories in Cuba, and they all need a little help, some more than others. Camagüey needs some, needs trumpets and needs flutes. One of the professors there told me there's 14 kids playing on one flute. So imagine trying to imagine being serious about music, studying it all day, and having not being able to take a flute home at night. It has to be, you know, decided upon who takes the flute home. Twenty, ten years ago, maybe yeah. twenty years yeah. ago, to play jazz in this school sure. was forbidden. Sure. Yeah, for the principal. Sure. And then the student had to play hidden someplace. It was a little Roca, who was also a percussion and player and a yeah. piano. They made the jams hidden, and then the director came and said, "Oh no, you cannot be playing. Go to play Beethoven." <laughs> I know, but some people think that's the way it is now. Still, yeah, some people. Some people in the that. states, but it's not. Yeah, they heard that this was American music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was not, they were not thinking no, no, of jazz. No, 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 no. The prayer list. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. It's different. So, uh -huh. so when Piquito was studying here, he was never. Piquito de Rivera. No, no. And all the and all the great jazz players were fired from school. <laughs> Emiliano and Plan, the other people, they were sent to the military service. Wow. Yeah, to play in the bands. You want to be a jazz player? Go to the band. Yeah, go to the military. <laughs> That's what they did to Yesik. <laughs> yes. That's where Yesik is. Wow. That's the story. <laughs> ago when we started to work with Cuban musicians, just a number of musicians in our own country that thought we were totally crazy for doing what we were doing. We both felt very strongly that we were on to something, that we were going down an avenue which would ultimately enhance what we were doing in jazz. We formed a lot of friendships with with many musicians, two very important ones in Guillermo Barreto and Mercedes Valdez. case, he had been a jazz musician backing the likes of Nat King Cole and Sarah Vaughan at a number of the clubs in the real heyday of Americans traveling to Havana. 
and Mercedes was um, had been singing popular music, but at this point was starting to perform the Afro-Cuban folkloric music. I remember when she came to Toronto, she had to be introduced. La Quina Ache, little luck, just like that. She really took my hand and introduced me to the music. She had a really magical quality. She really personified everything that uh, a great spiritual singer does. I remember a few months um, after Mercedes died, we returned to Cuba and going to visit her grave for the first time, there was nothing there. In fact, it took us hours to find where she she had been laid to rest. A la memoria de la grandiosa y querida Mercedita Bandez, pequeña Ache, recuerdo de todo sus amigos y admiradores de Cuba y todo el mundo con mucho amor. In the memory of the great Mercedes Valdez, the La Pequeña Che, remembered by all of her friends and fans throughout Cuba, and total, <laughs> now I'm reading in Spanish, and the whole world with much love. And those others, the wind will blow. Thank <laughs> you. 
explicación de donde nosotros queremos que tú hagas la introducción con nosotros por ejemplo el niño hace la primera inspiración de ir al agua y si tú la pudieras hacer yo tú haces la introducción esa le entrega el pie a, a niño el inspirador nuestro niño hace lo que él hace y le entrega el coro coro después coro ella vuelve a hacer lo mismo well the idea of, of being able to collaborate with Los Moniquitos has been an idea I've wanted to do for many, many years. They're probably one of the most famous groups to, you know, have come out of Cuba and, and have a huge international reputation. And just the, the whole historic um, factor of the group, you know, having the longevity that they've had is, uh, is really amazing. The group of Moniquitos was founded on the 9th of October del año 1952 en el barrio La Marina, que es este que tenemos aquí, a, aquí adelante. Las agrupaciones de los muñequitos tienen una, una característica especial, que hemos tratado de hacerlo manteniendo el género familiar. Esta es una agrupación de familia. Ahí estuvieron nuestros antecesores, aquí tenemos uno de los fundadores, que ya no existen, han fallecido. Ahora está en la actualidad Diosdado, tiene sus hijos, tiene sus nietos yo que tengo mi hijo, es decir que hemos tratado de mantener esto para que no se pierda la tradición esta, es muy importante mantener la tradición. Obala Ejesimoro, Obala Obala Dide, Obala Ejesimoro, Obala Dide, Dide, Obala Dide, Dide, You know, to the ear you think it's very simple, but when you really start to listen, it's very, it's very complicated. And, all the rhythms are happening and the voices are moving within the rhythms and and uh, it's very exact so there's no way that I want to be making any mistakes so I'm I notate it just for myself so that I can make sure I play it correctly you know you have all the guys playing so intensely I want to be the person who's making the boo-boo uh, <laughs> El arte de bien combinar sonido y tiempo, Ajá. que es la música. Ah. Ustedes entran, ustedes entran, bien, con la terminación del coro. Winnie, Winnie, Mobile, pum. Claro, Winnie, Winnie, Mobile, pum. Siempre acuerdas que silencio. Sí, sí, sí. Que es un silencio. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ok. <risa> One, two, three, four, pum. Ah, 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 y. Ya, tú sabes, con la energía que no Eh, 
de Cuba. Sí. Era el jazz, está liberado. el jazz de los años 40 en los Estados Unidos. Era única y exclusivamente de gente de color. Pero aparte de eso era un poco más y nada. Ya, bueno, ya a partir del, del 59, ya se nos dio el valor que siempre nosotros hemos querido tener. A partir del 59, el triunfo de la visión. Para nosotros no es raro de partir con personas como él, porque es una persona que nosotros, a pesar de que la tenemos en el, poco, en el corto tiempo que hemos de partido con ella, vemos la preocupación que ella tiene sobre la música cubana y su música. Déjame decirte que nosotros, nosotros siempre estamos pendientes de que haya la inyección esa, esa unión de la música del mundo. ¿Por qué? Porque son experiencias nuevas. Adquirimos conocimiento nosotros y ella a su vez también adquiere su conocimiento. You sir, I always feel like after you know a rehearsal of this caliber caliber with the, with these musicians of this nature that um I I've grown a little bit as a musician I've advanced myself you know musically because of, this is the challenge of you know integrating into what they're doing <laughs> when I first met Larry I realized pretty quickly that I'd met somebody who really shared my enthusiasm for life for music for the ridiculous sometimes No 
de este nombre? ¿Te conoce el número ese? I realized very early in our relationship that he was a great risk taker and a bit of a pirate in terms of being able to go into territories and not be afraid. And I thought, hey, this is a guy that I want to travel with and I think we'll be a good pair. ¿Cómo se llama? Flores. No, Flores. she loves. Hey, ¿Y esposa? Ama. Ama. Ama mucho Flores, ah. sí. <laughs> Mejor de mío. <laughs> sí. Sí. Oh, muchas gracias, señor. Bueno, Mucho gusto gracias. para sí. servirle. Ok. My flute and saxophone. What is it? Tell your room? No. But it, it was there last night when you, you had it in the lobby. I was sitting right with Joe and with it. You put it in the back with a black film. Now? Yes. When you got the phone. Mm -hmm. Cuando ayer lo vi. Ahora, ahora. Y los dos estuches en el. 
this time? Where the fuck was it? Hey? I don't know, but it's Oh, good. what a fucking nightmare. could have imagined that working with Cuban musicians would have gotten to the level that it is now. What started out, which was just an interest, which then grew to a passion, which then grew into projects and tours and recordings, is now at the point where we're like a family on the road. There's a lot of costs. Just the time that is required to, number one, getting a Cuban musician out of Cuba, let alone 17 musicians out, filling out the papers, contacting the embassies, wiring money, uh, writing the letters. That's just to bring them into Canada. Of course, to go into the United States, that's a whole other thing because of the relationship between Cuba and the U.S. It's difficult to tour because you really don't make money for a number of years. But it's the nature of the business when you're trying to do your own thing and you're trying to make a statement and um, make some inroads in the music to make those opportunities continue. que he estado muy contenta por tener esta gran oportunidad hoy me place mucho presentarles a todos ustedes bueno, ustedes no lo pueden ver pero gracias a la magia de la radio pueden escuchar tanto mi voz como las voces de estos dos invitados que tengo aquí a mi lado Sean Bonet y Larry Kramen buenas tardes y bienvenidos a la revista cultural de Ciudad del Mar estoy muy bien, adiós estamos aquí para un gran grande concierto mañana en la noche el Teatro Terry con muchos grupos uh, los, los naranjos sí, el conjunto uh, de esos los naranjos que es una tradición uh, aquí mucho. no solamente en la provincia de Cienfuegos sino en todo el país no, todo mundialmente el país. en yeah. todo uh -huh. todo el mundo Yo conoce a los gente naranjos en, en, en Europa todo el mundo conoce los naranjos ahora sí. en el concierto mañana nueve 
en la noche. Entonces, solamente me resto invitarles a todos los cienfuegueros a que mañana asistan a las 9 pasado meridiano en el Teatro Tomás Terry sí. para que vean la presentación de estos dos virtuosos del jazz. Ellos han invitado al conjunto de esos los naranjos. Así que sería como un encuentro de son con jazz. It's a very natural, natural fusion because we play with different feeling but the same corazón. Esta agrupación fue fundada el día 3 de abril de 1926. De sus fundadores no queda ninguno. Este grupo tiene 73 años. Por ley de la vida algunos fallecieron, otros se retiraron. Pero hemos mantenido la tradición que él formó, que es el son cubano. Ese fue el primer número que tocó esta agrupación. El Diablo de Tontón lo sacó un compañero, ¿cómo se llama el actor? Bienvenido, Bienvenido Julián. Bienvenido, Julián. Bienvenido. Sí, porque él le decía a ella que tuviera cuidado con ese hombre, ¿no? Porque ese hombre era el diablo y se la podía llevar. Por eso le dice, cuidado, ten hermanita, que ese hombre es el diablo y te puede llevar. En su diente de oro. Sí, él tenía un diente de oro y ahí, con su diente de oro, su fa, su rostro y vocablo, su opuesta figura, porque era un hombre elegante, la podía embaucar y se la podía llevar. Por eso yo le digo a esta que tenga cuidado, que no le abra la puerta si le toca. <risa> No se podía vivir. Había, por ejemplo, este grupo, con siete o ocho compañeros, tenían que ir a tocar al campo, sin audio, sin micrófono, sin nada. Se daban una fiesta y existía el racismo. Un salón la dividía en una soga y en un lado bailaban las personas blancas y en el otro los de color. Muy, siete o ocho pesos para un grupo. Y si se cobraba, te podías poner dichoso, porque el contratante estaba en combinación con la famosa guardia rural que existía y aquello se acababa, como decía el dicho, como la fiesta del guatajo. Plan de machete y todo el mundo cogía plan. Y a buscarle al dueño de la fiesta, el dueño de la fiesta se iba. Se mambo, se mambo. Ahí, vamos a un, un tres, un tres. Yeah. <laughs> It's so nice to see a woman. Oh. 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 
dice que tú tienes que, 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 tú tienes que haber recibido alguna enseñanza de eso. Nunca estudiaste nada. Estudiaba en escuela, pero casi siempre dejaba la escuela. Nunca terminaste no, estudios. She was studying, but never finished. Yeah. 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 Everything. Uh, Yo también. <laughs> no me gusta escuela. I mean, I just wanted to play in the bands, you know. Come on. Spanish phrase, we should have done this before. I'm trying to blow it, blow it long. I had it very short. Now I'm trying to blow it in here. What? 
Just in time. Early. Just in time for the whole. That's a first, eh? Several years ago, Larry and I started the Spirits of Music program. Every year we pick a different music conservatory in Cuba to go in and repair instruments. Sometimes we bring new instruments and also we play jazz with a lot of the students, which so many of these kids have an affinity for. And Courtney and Peter have been certainly an integral part of helping keep this Spirit of Music program alive. No, 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 no. Ay, caramba! Are they waiting for us? Oh, my God! See? It's hard to believe your Svenny went to the school. Happy to be here. Estamos muy contentos de estar aquí. And we look forward to meeting all of you. Y estamos eh, deseosos de conocerlos. Playing a little jazz. <laughs> Tocando un poquito de jazz. Stirring the place up just a little. <laughs> eh, volviendo a este lugar un poquito loco. And uh, hopefully uh, being able to repair some of the instruments. These these two friends of ours are wonderful technicians. Y esperamos reparar algunos instrumentos. But we look. We look forward to starting work with you all tomorrow. contacted her and offered to, to uh, come down with her. Um, that was f 
five years ago, I guess. We came to Havana. It was a blast. It was, it was crazy. It was really fun. So, this is the third time. Still crazy and still fun. <laughs> and it, it can be really frustrating because you work in difficult conditions and it's not, everything's on the fly. You're not in your own space. And you, it's finding what you're looking for is sometimes really frustrating. And you're trying to do it quickly and efficiently. But the rewards are, are really immense, I think, and immediate. You know, I see a, a kid who's frustrated with his music because he can't play, because his horn doesn't work, you know, and if you can, if you can fix that, that's, that's worth a lot. Aquí dice que este violín fue tocado cuando yo era niño, niña, porque es una muchacha. Y la viola fue tocada por mi padre. Somos una familia de pescadores. Atiéndanme. Yo tenía los dos instrumentos completamente renovados. Todo lo que le puse fue nuevo. Es un violín maravilloso. Eh, fue hecho en Toronto. El violín y la viola vienen con mucho amor y el mejor deseo de que sea tocado por Jean Sheck y la dirección de bajo para que le conteste. Le vamos a contestar y eso constituye un valor sobre todo sentimental. Nosotros lo sabremos recompensar. We have two pieces of music only. So somebody has to be responsible. Because there's no photocopier. To return that piece of music to me and this piece of music. Yeah. For me, my training, I, I had a little bit of piano in school where um, I played on cardboard at lunchtime and uh, was with a number of students, but it was, you know, it laid this, the seeds for some, you know, preparing me for in the early stages of music, but it's certainly, you know, at the age that these students are, I was nothing like where, where they are at this point. And, um, and then later, I went to a number of schools that didn't have music at all in the program. And uh, just to come in here and just see the, just the, how much it, the music is really flourishing, even under you know difficult circumstances, it's it's, it's just incredible. Especially when we can jazzify them. <laughs> <laughs> we like doing that. <laughs> Shake them up a bit. yourself when you when you do this type of work um, I, I couldn't do it all the time you know because it is a extremely um, demanding you know teaching it's a, a particular skill especially when you're dealing with the you know the language and um, and just the excitement of the kids you know that's the, they get very very excited and they all want to run with the ball <laughs> Don't care, stop. 
chaos. Bajito, bajito. La primera parte, dos veces. Dos veces. En el puente. Okay. La segunda. So, mira, mira, this, this, watch. The puente es. I think back before you know, the wall came down and they were still getting a lot of support in the Soviet Union, they, they bought instruments from a company in Montreal and they bought Yamahas and I can't tell you how pleased I am to see them here because they're easy to fix and there's still a lot of them in very good condition. You ready? It's done. Nosotros no queríamos que ustedes se fueran de aquí de la escuela sin antes decirles que en nombre de los estudiantes, the name of the students, de los padres, the fathers, de los trabajadores, the workers, de la enseñanza artística en la provincia de Camagüey the learn in the y en el mío propio, les agradecemos sinceramente okay, thank you sincerely. el tiempo que han dedicado a the, nosotros. The time you spent here. Los donativos que nos han realizado se los agradecemos porque es algo que era un déficit total, prácticamente total en nuestra escuela. The donation because there was no no uh, instruments here, a few quantity of them. Que más que un valor material constituirá un valor sentimental para todos nosotros. More than uh, material value, it's going to be sentimental value for us. Por eso queremos dejar That's why we want to give you eh, la muestra de reconocimiento por escrito vamos a hacer la entrega del reconocimiento que hace la escuela a ustedes okay, así que los declaro de... los declaro oficialmente profesores adjuntos de la uh -huh. escuela vocacional de arte Luis Casa Romero de Camagüey oficialmente you are teachers of this school really? Thank <laughs> you. 
es decir descendiente y en este caso bueno somos descendientes de haitianos y surge porque un buen día pues nos pusimos a, a conversar acerca de nuestra eh, ascendencia ¿no? y llegamos a la conclusión de que estas 10 personas éramos todos descendientes de haitiano que el haitiano tiene mucho que ver con la eh, nacionalidad cubana porque los haitianos entraron a, a este país eh, para trabajar la industria azucarera como bracero picando caña luego han hecho muchos otros trabajos ¿no? Y entonces eh, nos pusimos a, a pensar, ¿por qué no nos ponemos a cantar las canciones de nuestros abuelos, de nuestros padres? Y así, pues, el día 4 de marzo del 94 surge eh, de Santa. The thing about this and Dan is they have such a different feeling that really emanates from their music. It may be because of the connection to slavery that there is certainly a, a solemnness and a spirituality that is very, very strong. Just a very deep, resonating cry that comes out of their music. And I really have to think about how to fit in there and work with a history that's not necessarily my own history, but still speaks to me. Estamos a 500 kilómetros de, de La Habana, que es la capi, capital del país. Y todos los empresarios o los interesados generalmente llegan a La Habana. Y entonces, para los grupos que están eh, más lejos de La Habana, pues les resulta más difícil ¿no? que a, aquel empresario, si no viene <coughs> ya con la intención de venir a buscar <coughs> perdón, el grupo, pues no, no, no se entera de que existe un desandá. You know, you hope that, you know, let's try it. Basically, there's three of you there. That's one person staying there, one person staying there. Well, that's what we're doing, but cars are going by there, too. The, the policeman is helping us out, but you have to communicate when you're ready to start so we can look. What? Well, as soon as you hear them singing, you know, start it.
The greatest thing about being a musician is that you can travel places and pretty quickly establish rapport with other cultures and other peoples that you cannot maybe communicate with in any other way. It's really more than music. It's about friendship, really, and just sort of the fact that our friendships are tied to the very unexplainable feeling that musicians have with other musicians when you're connected with music. And I know eventually that things will change, but I just hope to continue to learn about this music because I feel it's, it's enhanced so much of my own writing skills and just my life. Oh, oh, oh. 